welcome back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. This was not shared with us. We paid for this bottle. We shared it with us. We shared it with us. We got it in the Yay maker's us. drop. This is the Maker's Mark Cellar Aged. Look what we got finally. We got oh, we're the last ones in the world. Wow. I know. Every I know, time I he know. cries it's, about it. Yeah, I'm no, like, no, no, at no, least no. we got it. We Better did. than most people. I know. And and thank goodness to the Maker's Drop because it, it came to the house. Right. They delivered what everyone wanted in the yes. Maker's Drop, which was this. If it had been anything but this, I think there would have been pitchforks. Yeah. There we go. Uh, obviously, we've already been into it. <laughs> the day it came, we cracked it open. If you're hungry for um, people's thoughts on it, there's no shortage of those there. Other channels have put out their uh, you know, review on this. It's, that's why I say we're the last one to get it because so many other channels were able to get it uh, before and they put out their videos. So it's like, here we are, late to the game. Maker's Mark Cellar Aged is their first ever Maker's Mark of this age. So it's a special blend of aged barrels. 13% of this whiskey is aged 11 years and 80% of it is aged 12 years. Um, and a good time of that uh, is spent in their cellar, which if you've ever been on a tour there and you go into where they're storing their private select barrels, it's in this um, like literally underground kind of into a, uh, not really a mountain, but a, yeah, it's like a hilltop. Kind of like a cave. Yeah, cave where it stays like. I mean, I guess I don't know what's 60, 50 degrees. It's nice and cool it's, in there. Yeah, it's always it's always cool in there. So it spends part of its life, you know, just like normal makers does, and then uh, another part of its life. I think the extra age part is uh, in there in the cellar. It's not like a cool a regular makers. It's, it's a cool <laughs> makers. Cellar aged, yeah, and it is one hundred and fifteen point seven proof. Which you normally don't see makers that high. No. Nope. Either so. Mm -hmm. The nose alone, I think you can tell that we're playing in a different ballpark yes. than um, regular makers. The closest thing nose-wise that I would say this gets to would be like the Private Selects mm -hmm. or the Wood Finishing Series. Yeah, very barrel. It's an amount of wood that besides those Wood Finishing Series, you just don't get on makers. And this is not finished. This is just... But it's interesting because it does have like a little bit, it almost has a French oak note to the nose that I would get on some of their finished stuff. It doesn't smell like I'm getting ready to drink under 15 proof either. It's very it's mellow. approachable there on the nose. So to your health. Super light and mellow, easy, approachable, sweet on the front that quickly grows into a more bold oak forward, chocolatey, chocolatey little bit yes, of espresso, sure. mm -hmm. nice, wood forward, maybe a little bit of tobacco, punch towards the finish. And sort of like it's pretty rich. Whoppers, very much like Whoppers because of the milk chocolatey, mm -hmm. um, but also because it, it is a little dry. And you know, if you get, if you eat a handful of Whoppers, you're going for your drink pretty quickly after because you know, the inside of it just makes your mouth kind of dry. Mm. And off that first sip, that's kind of, kind of what I'm getting. 115 point, point seven. <laughs> <laughs> not a whole lot of you know like Kentucky hug uh, oh. just like the nose I don't feel like I'm, I'm really drinking 115 like sort of right there on the palate but not so much in the settling in but it does have a really good mouthfeel besides that slight dryness but second step here yeah if you watch the channel a lot you know that my oak oak threshold is lower than most people's but I personally feel like maybe it's because of like the softness of the weeded bourbon at Maker's Mark, mm -hmm. I feel like it so benefits from an extra oak influence, yeah. whether that be the private select and the suspended staves or the wood experiments, um, the wood finishing series. Mm -hmm. Can they make this a regular thing? Oh, I because, think like, they're going this to. This is this direction for them, the direction that we've seen with those three products. It's how I want my Makers. It's how I want to drink Makers. All right, before we go any further, we want to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt and the sweatshirt that you are always wearing, Sarah. Uh, All so out. <laughs> hats, uh, our Glen Karens. We also have uh, Copitas Rocks glasses, challenge coins, bottle cut candles, event tickets, which you can watch a video right here uh, about that. And more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash experimentite. Join our community for little less one buck a month and that is where we put our barrel picks out after the episode exclusives discounts on that merch depending on your tier and more age wise it feels very much in the right place like i think yeah. too much more oak and it's just going to destroy those that thing that makers is known for which is like that sweetness that 
yeah light easy but also those desserty notes yeah this is doing a good job of playing like it kind of has a foot in both worlds of the oak and then that desserty light sweetness yeah. that makers is known for it's 150 retail stiff but uh, in my opinion the best product that they've put out yeah Same. um if you don't want to pay that much i think if you get well the wood finishing series who knows what's going to happen with those right now that it's on a little hold it's right on now a hiatus yeah. to my understanding because mm -hmm. of their changes in leadership so normally i would say if you're unsure about the price point on this one or you can't find it i think that you will get a similar path a similar direction with the wood finishing series bottle that being said those being a hiatus and Which, those are like 65. I'd say a really good private select from yeah. a store that, that you like and know. On this one, I would say something that's mm. maybe more, like to get more of this f flavor profile, something that's more in the cuvee and the mondiant. Um, yeah. Staves, yeah. if you're really into the maker's terminology, sure, yeah. you'll know what I mean. <laughs> mm. Delicious. All right, oh, well, that's where we better leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. All right, until next time, drink more bourbon.